The coronavirus developments change daily, and the CDC says to prepare for a possible outbreak in our communities. But how do you do that? The Fox 5 Eye team's Dana Fallow is here with a list of what to get. What do we need to do, Dana? Well, we start with no panicking. Yeah. Don't panic. <laughs> but we do want to talk about how to prepare for the potential that we have to deal with coronavirus. You know, we're not looking at hoarding food and water. That's not what we're saying here. But if you can shop before it hits, you don't have to go out and about in crowds any more than you need to. So this is how you get started. It feels scary. Coronavirus, possible pandemic, people in masks. We hear and see that, yet we're told don't panic. So how do you balance the two? Well, let's get the facts first. I love this gif on social media from the Centers for Disease Control. Keep calm and wash your hands. That is the number one easiest, most effective thing you can do to protect yourself from any virus, including the flu. Studies are clear, good old fashioned hand washing, which means soapy scrubbing for 20 seconds can cut down virus transmission as much as 50% and get a nice supply of antibacterial hand sanitizer. For backpacks, the car, and in the office, just in case you don't have access to soap and water. Now, if coronavirus or COVID-19 comes close to home, you wanna steer clear of congested public spaces. But again, don't panic. Public health officials say that 80% of those infected will just have mild symptoms, you know, like a cold. But you also don't wanna spread that cold-like symptom. So health departments all across the country are recommending you get a supply of staples from the grocery. Nobody is afraid we're going to run out of food. That's not it. You just don't want to unnecessarily get in line at the grocery or the pharmacy if you don't have to. Get as many as two months supplies of staples, things you already eat, like the peanut butter and pasta. Don't waste money on food you won't use. Think about what you can freeze. Bread, sandwich meat, these frozen chicken breasts do a whole lot. Sandwiches, Parmesan, salads. You could dice it for tortillas. In my all-purpose closet, you know, the one with the crafts and the gift wrapping, well, I have snacks in there that no one can touch unless they're trying to stay closer to home for a while. Also, keeping non-perishable foods like rice and other packaged items that won't go bad will be handy. But this, this is where you'll want to stock up. Again, not hoard, just stock up for fever reducers, things for stomach upset and decongestants. Just imagine the whole house is down with the flu. What would you need? And in that vein, any of those electrolyte supplements that give regular water an extra healthy punch, have that on hand. And here are three more ways to prep for any disruptions that the novel coronavirus might bring. Plan now for school or daycare closures. What will you do? Think you're coming down with a bug? Call your doctor. Just don't go to the ER or the doctor's office where you can infect others unless your doctor says, yes, come in. And need a few groceries but don't want to go out? Get them delivered. It's easier than ever. You know, you can do things like make a pot of soup, meatloaf, big lasagna, and chop it up and stick it in the freezer so you have these ready-to-go meals. Now, listen up. I saw this on our Good Day Atlanta Facebook page that someone said, hey, my Lysol can says it kills coronavirus, and it does, but not this one. This is not what we're talking about. This is a new one. It's not just media hype, as this person indicated. It is not. There are multiple coronaviruses. Again, this one is new. Again, prep, not panic. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I saw those as well. On yeah. Facebook. So I like the idea of, you know, getting the cold meds right now. But what about if you have to get some prescription meds? You know, try to get that in advance if you can too. I mean, just call your doctor. I know it's hard with insurance because you get 30 days out sometimes. Mm -hmm. But if it's one of those where you're going to have to go back into the doctor before you get, you know, your next one, call and see if you can make some sort of arrangement during this whole thing. Listen, I got a lot of groceries ahead of time. My husband's a teacher. I have uh, a kid at home. I am making the assumption at some point school might shut down for a minute because I think about those things. Yeah. And I just want food there so they don't have to go out and then go back to school and infect Definitely. people. Yeah. That's all. Hashtag prep, prep not, not panic. panic. <laughs> Thanks, Dana.